everybody. Welcome to another Oddments video, formerly known as Odds and Ends. I'm losing a little track of the, what number this one is. It's either Oddments number 55 or possibly 56. Well, before we get started, let me uh, let me take off my shoes here. These are the shoes I wanted to take off. <laughs> Not my other shoes. A little, still a little cold to go barefoot. Um, I'd like to start out this video. Today is uh, President's Day, and I'd like to uh, uh, celebrate our first president's uh, birthday, George. Uh, George. Uh, I wasn't around when George was a president, but I imagine George was a pretty good guy. And the reason I know that is, George was a fisherman. I never met a fisherman I didn't like, so happy birthday, George. I've got uh, several traditional style snowshoes uh, in my collection. Wood frame, rawhide, uh, laced, all different types. Uh, but on a day like today, with uh, tough conditions and um, springtime type snow and not knowing what's underneath that snow and just uh, tough, tough going, I, uh, I don't think you can beat these military surplus shoes. They uh, may not be the prettiest snowshoes that I own, but they are by far the um, most durable. Uh, if I had just one snowshoe, this would be it. Uh, magnesium frames, aircraft cable uh, lacing, traditional, uh, whatever you want to call it, main style uh, shoe. The first uh, picture I have in this Oddments video is of a snow moon. Now, many of you probably are asking yourself, what in the heck is a snow moon? Well, a snow moon is a full moon in February, and it's called that uh, because of the typical heavy snowfall in February. So it's a, a snow moon, and here's some pictures uh, of the snow moon. Uh, these were taken out at Eric's farm the other day, or other night I should say. Uh, so uh, here they are. Everybody has heard of Lewis and Clark, the core of discovery, Lewis and Clark, and their epic adventure, their epic trek. Uh, and what you might not know is uh, part of the um, assignment that Jefferson had given to Lewis and Clark in the core of discovery was to keep accurate journals of every day uh, of their of their trip and uh, what I've been doing lately it's been a lot of fun too is I have been uh, checking today's date or the whatever the current date is and then referencing back to um, Lewis and Clark's journals and seeing what they were doing on the same date of course not the same year <laughs> but the same date uh, way back when. Very interesting uh, reading. You can uh, buy the journals in a paperback book or, this is even better, you can get them for free if you go on the internet type in the journals of Lewis and Clark and then today's date, you know, whatever, February 28th uh, 
and what will come up is the entries for February 28th on the Cora Discoveries uh, Trek. So uh, it's real interesting reading. Uh, what they went through was absolutely amazing. Um, I liken it to uh, the Apollo missions going to the moon, but there was no support for these guys. They were alone in the wilderness uh, facing unknown things. Uh, just an amazing, amazing uh, accomplishment that Lewis and Clark did. You never know where you'll find uh, a member of the Poverty Hill family. Uh, this picture was taken at, of all places, Disney World down in Florida. It's a picture of uh, one of our t-shirts. And uh, it's uh, not a really, really small t-shirt. What it is is a really, really big chair. Our friend Dino sent me this video from a trail camera of a mink uh, the other day and I wanted to share it with everybody. As you can see, we got a little problem at the Hobo Hilton. Evidently the snow was uh, just a little bit too much. The snow load was a little bit too much for the, for the Hilton and we broke a, uh, a ridge pole. Now uh, as soon as things uh, get a little easier to get about, uh, I'll cut a new ridge pole and uh, I promise you this, uh, the Hobo Hilton will be reconstructed and we'll be back this is my favorite part of uh, the admits videos and that's uh, the shout out part and uh, as always I wrote them down here uh, so I don't forget anybody, or hopefully I didn't forget anybody. As far as shout-outs go, I'd like to give a shout-out to Florida Cracker Outdoors for uh, their comments on um, the Having Fun video. Now, uh, Florida Cracker has got a neat uh, channel. It's actually two channels. Um, and uh, he covers a lot of muzzle-loading stuff and... Uh, he just finished up a recent video of uh, making a, um, a handmade violin. Real interesting uh, channel. You may want to check that out. I'd like to uh, give a shout out to Fisher Cat, Barry, David, John, and Ron N. for uh, their comments on the I'm Having Fun video also. Thanks, guys. I'd like to... Uh, Give a shout out to Don C for his comments on the workshop number seven video. Thanks, Don. Uh, and Ian, Gri uh, Ian Griner for all of his comments, all of the nice things he said. Uh, um, thanks, Ian. Appreciate it very much. Look forward to uh, getting together one of these days and uh, shooting the bows with you. I'd like to give a shout out to Kathy for her comment on the Bannock 
recipe video. Hopefully, uh, Kathy, your bannock turned out good. Uh, new subscribers. We got a new subscriber by the name of Grind House. So welcome, Grind House. Um, that's it for right now as far as uh, shout-outs and, and uh, new subscribers. I appreciate all the positive comments that everybody sends. Uh, I read them all. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy the videos. As always, everybody, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you visiting. And uh, take care until next time.